we're standing here in uh, front of my house with a tree that uh, this is more of a do as I say not as I do type deal and this tree has died. It's a post oak which is a native tree and uh, it was growing here naturally and stuff when we built the house but like so many times whenever you're building a house uh, there's a lot of construction equipment around and a lot of tearing up of the ground and you do change the side of the the where the tree is at so I kind of want to use this as a, a thing to, to kind of make people aware of over here uh, right about here they put a water line in so even though that's not right next to that tree it was close enough that there were a number of large roots that they messed up uh, also, whenever about that far on the other side they were doing footing work why they, they messed up the roots on this tree on the other side. And of course the, the, everything about that side of the tree is, has covered up the roots and stuff and of course went in here and planted Bermuda grass and that competes with the tree. Of course the tree competes with the Bermuda grass too through shade and things like that but ever since uh, we've lived in this house this tree has uh, not leaved out all the way to the top uh, you'll get leaves that will will go within about eight foot of the top of the limbs um, it was always kind of the the first one to to look bad in the summer whenever it got hot and dry and I have been giving it a little supplemental water uh, but this year it just all at once leaved out this spring, turned up its heels and died. So uh, I guess the take home message that we want to do on this is uh, you got to realize when you're that close to construction uh, you're going to do a lot of damage to the tree and when you're doing something like that visualize the how the house is going to be and how the tree is going to affect the house if you have to cut that down. Uh, this isn't going to be a terribly difficult deal where the the limbs are hanging out over the house or anything but uh, site disturbance on oak trees is really a, a real critical thing. I've seen even where they go in and uh, cut the briars and maybe don't even spray any chemicals and, and get it where it's pretty underneath the tree and uh, get grass going and are mowing and uh, look up and the trees died for just no reason. So uh, this really didn't have any diseases uh, other than just it was it was affected by the, the construction. Lots of times uh, get calls from people on trees that are looking kind of sickly and everyone wants to do something to save that tree but lots of times by the time trees start looking sickly uh, there's not really a whole lot you can do where well, there's not much of anything that you can do to really turn them around. We've kind of uh, already been through a hot dry spell this summer but uh, that's about the only thing people can do if they get a tree that's starting to look stressed is just to give it uh, a pretty good amount of supplemental water. The question always comes up in a situation like this what kind of fertilizer do I give it to grow it out of that? And even though I'm a real um, proponent of fertilizer on lawns and gardens and everything like that, the last thing that you want to do when you get a tree that is stressing uh, like this one did or like so many of them do that need more moisture, the last thing you want to do is fertilize because that's like uh, giving some uh, middle-aged person a bunch of of uh, vitamins and saying okay now go run a marathon because it's just not going to happen. The only thing you can do is just kind of uh, continue to give them water, make sure that they don't stress for water during some of those real dry spells and be aware that uh, these trees have got a lot of root systems down there that are competing with the grass and things like that so do your watering accordingly. Uh, a lot of people have a tendency just to put a little water out there and once the ground looks wet that's it. But a soaker hose around a tree left for several hours two or three times a week is kind of uh, basic to try to, to get a tree to, to make it through a dry spell.